let's jump to battle rap real quick. I'm um, gonna keep this one real short because I think there's still a lot of rollout that's going to be happening by the time y'all start getting like these visuals and you know these trailers and you know all that good stuff that's on the way for the bags and bodies TV show. Um, I'm definitely not in a position to drop any spoilers or anything like that. Shout out to Holla, man. You're putting in the work over there. You're working as we speak. I see you, boy. But um, who do y'all have as the front runner for this whole joint? I'm seeing the name Mac Myron go, go over a lot. On the talent side of things. He's one of them guys. I came all the way from Pontiac to tell him this. Stop wearing big hats with headbands and pelly pelly fits. You don't know shit about you don't know shit about pots with the steady wrist with all kinds of herbs. Ness, I got a Dr. Sebi list. I remember wow. personality standpoint of things. You know, we're gonna be tuned in to what Mac Myron is bringing to that crib and his type of energy. <laughs> but is he the front runner? I just want to ask that question. You know, maybe I know something, maybe I don't. Maybe there's going to be some some curveballs that's going to get thrown into the, these episodes. And I'm not trying to say, you know, Rex is about to walk through the crib again and just, you know, change the balance of what's going on. Like, there's going to be a lot of unique things that you've never seen done before happen on this TV show. So it's going to be dope as shit. But I'm just I'm just asking y'all, you know, Mac is, Mac is my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I can't get on this camera and be biased. You know what I'm saying? I might end up being a judge for, you know what I'm saying, one of these battles or two or whatever. So I'm definitely not going to be on this damn camera talking about, I want this person to win or that person to win. This is not just the conventional, yo, you get a call as a battle rapper. Yo, what's up? Yo, this date, this opponent, this amount of money. You agree? I agree. Boom. I'm sending a contract. We're done. I'll see you in a month or two. This ain't that. You got all types of shit going on in the crib. You got fights that might happen in the crib you know you see holly said it, it's gonna be the fade room the gloves is in there you know what i'm saying if you get your ass whooped on one of these episodes because you gloved up with somebody the fans ain't gonna let you win your battle three days later they're like we don't want to hear none of that gang that gangster shit you just wrote because you just lost a fade three days ago that that's the type of variables that's going to be in this show even the short prep, even the challenges of having to try to go after bags in other ways. Like, let's say, let's say, for example, Holla walks in that crib one day and just says, yo, today we going up to Hot 97 and we're going to do a, um, a freestyle competition out of the last four people that won their battles or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whoever has the best free, boom, 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 boom. And you focus on that for the moment. You writing for that. You know what I'm saying? And you got a battle three days later. Or, or there's some strippers that then came in the crib that night or the night before you was out partying or whatever and bowling with these or all that type of shit. The focus alone is something that I haven't seen any of those battlers that's in this crib have to deal with. Those type of elements. I haven't seen, I don't, I don't know anybody that's in this crib that had to prep for a battle under these type of conditions and these situations with all this other stuff that's going on. All this, if I was battling you on, on bags and bodies three or four or five days from now, and especially if I, by the time I'm done writing and memorizing, you know the type of hell I'm going to cause you in that crib. This ain't like battle of A is in Cali, battle of B is in New York, and you know, on this Saturday coming up, they're going to finally see each other and they're going to rap. They there with each other now. I get to fucking torment the shit out of you and, and try to even disrupt your process, your writing process. You know, there's all types of variables there. So I just I just want to throw out the creativity that's going to come into play with this show and try to break you out of the norms of just saying, oh, I think this battler might be better than this battler. So that's who's going to win the whole show. This ain't a typical battle rap event. There's too much going on. So look at the list of people and re-ask yourself under all these different types of conditions and stuff that's going on. Am I sure I got a clear winner?